Hey what's good guys, this is Zach and I'm back with XDA TV. So just a few days ago I put out a video on this channel showing you guys Grace UX for the Galaxy Note 5 which essentially is a Galaxy Note 7 ROM that you can put on your Galaxy Note 5. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Grace UX on any Galaxy Note 5 as long as you are rooted and have custom recovery installed. Now, if you're not rooted, I've linked Max Lee's tutorial on how to get your Galaxy Note 5 rooted down below in the description, so make sure that you check that out first. But if you are rooted, you can go ahead and continue with the rest of this video. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make a backup of your current state. So you can back up all your stuff just in case something goes wrong. I am not responsible for anything that goes wrong with this process. If you follow everything correctly, you should be just fine. Now, the next thing that you want to do is download the ROM in the description. Now, once you've got that, you're going to want to copy the ROM to your Note 5's internal storage. Once copied, go ahead and put your device into recovery mode by powering it off first, then hold the power, volume up, and home buttons all at the same time. Now that we're in recovery, we're going to perform a factory data reset, and this is why you want to make a backup of your ROM because this will erase all of your applications and stuff like that, however, it will not erase your internal storage, so you're not going to lose any of your pictures or anything like that. Alright, so now that the factory data reset has finished, we can go ahead and hit back, hit install, locate the ROM that we downloaded, and now we can go ahead and flash it. After that's finished, you're pretty much set to go and you can go ahead and reboot your device. Now make sure that you take into consideration that the first boot after flashing a ROM usually takes a little while, so don't be surprised if your Note 5 takes a little while to boot up. But after it does, you're pretty much all set to go and you finally have the Note 7 ROM running on your Galaxy Note 5. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my overview of this ROM that I posted to the XDA channel just a few days ago. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope I was able to help you guys out. If you have this ROM running on your Galaxy Note 5, go ahead and drop me a comment down below letting me know how much you like this ROM or how much you don't like this ROM. But this is sort of what we can expect to see on the Galaxy Note 7, so we're kind of getting a little bit of a taste of the Note 7 before its initial release. But that pretty much does it for me. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the XDA channel if you haven't already. You can also find me here on YouTube and all over social media at EasyTech231. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.